Hi, today I'd like to show you a great new feature in GP 2013, how to reconcile inventory to the general ledger. In GP 2013, I'm in the financial module under routines, I've selected reconcile to the GL. In this window, you'll see a few new fields. The first one is reconciliation, and the system keeps track of every reconciliation that you perform within Microsoft Dynamics GP. You can even specify a reconciliation date. You can even specify a date range to perform your reconciliation. And under modules now, when I select the drop down, I can still reconcile payables and receivables, but now you have the ability to reconcile inventory plus bank reconciliation. I'm going to select inventory. I'm just going to enter in the inventory account that I want to reconcile. Now there's a new option here where you can specify an output file. And the report generated from the reconciliation can be written directly to a file by specifying a file path and a name. I'm going to click on the yellow folder to the right and I'm just going to save it to my desktop. On the bottom section here, you'll see subledger, general ledger, and difference. Also, viewing these amounts tells the end users whether the systems are ready and in balance with each other or if adjustments are needed. These fields are particularly useful if the report generated by the reconciliation is written directly to a file. I'm going to select process on the upper left hand corner. One of the really nice features is now you have the ability to drill down on the journal entry number. And when you drill down, it opens up to the journal entry inquiry window. Isn't that great? Now users can analyze differences between the historical inventory trial balance and the GL inventory accounts. Please visit our website at www.bdosolutions.ca.